Shalom, Shabbat Tov, guys. How are you doing? I hope everyone are well. I wanted to share a thought from Elikute uh, Moran um, that I learned today. Something very interesting, very, very nice. And uh, in Torah 78, Rabbi Nachman is uh, saying, is telling us on uh, Esther Hamalka that she had the divine spirit. It's a known thing that Esther Hamalka, that she was a very holy woman and she was enjoying the Holy Spirit, the divine spirit. Like the verse is saying, Vatilvash Esther Malchut, that the kingship dressed Esther Hamalka. The kingship was um, covering her so uh, she was covered with the kingship of heaven so it's um, it's a uh, it's the divine spirit that dressed it that dressed Esther um, and also she had um, an aspect of um, like that she was alive that she was a live spirit like like Jacob like Yaakov Avinu Rabbeinu Rabbi Nachman is bringing um, another verse on Yaakov Avinu that he is in the aspect of um, of Mashiach. So Rabbeinu is explaining something very nice, very beautiful here um, on the verse Vaita la Shem Amlucha Vaya Shem Lemelech al Kol Aretz. So he's saying that Rabbeinu is saying that by the fact that the person um, is reaching those high levels that he's enjoying divine spirit um, by that he's able to rise the kingship back to its place till the kingship comes back to Hashem to heaven and then Hashem is the king on all the land so Rabbeinu is this is a verse from uh, Zachariah Zechariah and Rabbeinu is saying something very deep, very wonderful here. Usually you would interpret that verse, Vaya Hashem Lemelech Al Kol Haaretz, that Hashem, the Creator, He's the King on the whole land. So you're going to say, okay, yeah, he's, He controls the trees, He controls the people, He controls the animals. Vaya Hashem Lemelech, that Hashem will be the King on the whole wide land, on, the, on, on physicality. But Rabbeinu is explaining that verse in a higher aspect of it and he's saying that when the kingship will come back to its place by that righteous person that is enjoying the divine spirit that he is in the aspect of Esther the queen and Yaakov Avinu that he's in the aspect of Mashiach by that when the kingship will come back to its place so we will be able to recognize our creator above the whole worlds with no dressing and with no covering, with no shape or figure. And this is why that it's written um, on Hashem that He is a king, a great king on the whole land. Again, the kingship of Hashem is great, is a, is a great kingship and it's on the whole land. So what does it mean? Instead of putting Hashem into the land, like we said on the verse, Vayashem lemelech al kol ha'aretz, that Hashem, He is the king on the whole land, He is saying, in, in the holy language of Hebrew, you can see that in the verse, al kol ha'aretz is beyond the land. So Rabbeinu is saying that in that time, the, we will be able to see the Creator above every any shape or figure and not like today because now we can see him only while dressing the worlds today and um, we can see the creator only through the worlds this is why i wrote that book the book of the worlds maybe you see it in the opposite way i don't know the book of the worlds is explaining how beautiful um, the Creator is being seen now in our days, in the days that we are still here in this world. You can see Him only through the world. So you can recognize the Creator through the world. So you see the sun, you see the sunset, you see the sky, you see trees. 
and you can see and recognize the godliness of the Creator through the curtains of creation. But when the righteous people and the real holiest ones, those that, that are in the aspect of Esther and in the aspect of Yaakov Avinu, that both of them were like really literally sacrificed themselves for the good of our people, of our holy nation of Israel. And they threw themselves into the valley of shadows of death and they were ready to sacrifice themselves completely and to fight for justice and for good to be seen. So by the merit of those ones, of those righteous ones, um, that are enjoying the divine spirit, the kingship of the Creator will rise to a level that is beyond this world, that in that day we will be able to enjoy His uh, beauty, His glory, His grace, and to recognize and to know Him above all the worlds. We will be able to see something that today we cannot. Today, if you fly high in the speed of light, you become one with the light, you cannot see any color in the light. You are floating in white color because the speed of light is the speed that only lower than that speed you can see and recognize the Creator. But when you um, go lower than the speed of light, you can see the Creator. When the light is hitting uh, physicality in any layer of it, it breaks. And by that you can see the shades and the colors that the light holds and contain. But in the days of redemption and in higher aspect of observation, you will be able to see the Creator and to recognize Him and know Him even when he's not dressed in shapes and in figures and forms and colors like we can recognize him today so there is what to expect for there is what to hope for and everyone should believe in themselves that they are able to rise and climb to those high levels of esther the queen and yaakov avinu that both of them only by their dedication to the truth and their misirut nefesh that they gave them their all selves to the purpose they achieved what it, they achieved and by their merit and the merit of all those serious ones who takes their life seriously and working hard to accomplish good and to do only good we will all be able to enjoy the light of heaven above all worlds above physicality may this week be a blessing for us all and may all our prayers be answered in no time amen thank you the world is not existing because Olam Milchon Elev, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.